My name is David Bolo. I'm the general manager in charge of operations at uh, Davis and Shadley. And today we are in Ayani Primary School in Kibera. And what we've come to do as part of our community activities is to hand over a greenhouse. You can see it behind me. Uh, we have renovated it and uh, we have done a drip irrigation system uh, to help subsidize the costs that the school incurs in their school feeding program. Now, why we picked on this particular project? It's because it's our area of irrigation is our area of expertise. It involves our equipment and, um, uh, uh, and it involves our technicians. And also, it's, an, it's a project that is uh, self-sufficient, one that is sustainable. So that's the reason we picked on it, and we knew that it's, be, it's going to benefit children and vulnerable members of the society. I'm Buki Jackson Kibundo, it's my name. I'm the teacher of Ayan Primary School. Ayan Primary School is stated at the center of Kibera Estate. Kibera is a slum. And uh, our catchment area is normally the Indiria Kibera. I want to say our children usually come from vulnerable homes. We have highly challenged learners in our school. We really want to say before Davis and the Shutcliffe came in, we had various challenges in our school, especially the biggest challenge relating to food. Some learners could, 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 could convince to the teachers that the only meal they ever get is the lunch from the school. Uh, here at DNS, um, we're very passionate about uh, what we call um, CSR, um, which is Corporate Social Responsibility, which is um, basically a uh, large program that we run um, on an annual basis, which um, seeks to uh, carry out projects for the benefit of the community um, and obviously because we are a uh, water and energy solutions provider um, our core business is provision of water and energy services um, we are uniquely positioned to um, carry out these uh, projects um, which we uh, um, can uh, equip install and maintain um, for um, identified uh, uh, communities and causes who are disadvantaged and particularly we like to focus on um, children where children involve schools uh, or disadvantaged children in orphanages. Um, these are our particular, fo particular focuses, areas of focus um, that we like to um, uh, uh, um, aim our efforts at. So we have come today to hand it over uh, very appropriate on World Food Day that um, we are, are looking at the Millennium Development Goals on provision of water and food and so it's, it's, it's apt that we do this ceremony today. Of course we're looking forward to seeing the crop mature. We already have a very young crop uh, recently planted, different types and we know that the school will use this crop very well. The harvest will be used in their school kitchen and that is something the headmaster has assured us. And any excess will be sold to help subsidize um, the school feeding program that they run. One of the challenges that's been pointed out to us is the fact that they rely on a bohol pump, which is powered by mains, and uh, they're really struggling to keep up with the power bills. And so we're going to give some consideration uh, to convert the pump to a hybrid system using solar and mains and make it um, a, a complete and sustainable project. So we really look forward to seeing this particular project changing the lives of the people in Ayani.